It's like they were erased. Could it be that the Snapdragon were murdered because of what they said about the royal family? By whom? They predated the Phantom Scythe, so maybe... Hmm. Sake was there in the very beginning. Maybe he'd know something. And Sandman too, since apparently he's still alive. Ah. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Hello. Oh. I told you to stop this. There's a door. Use it. Nah, doors are too mainstream for me. Besides, your face is worth it every single time. Uh, I suppose I should know better after two years of being friends with your unhinged ass. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, what are you doing here? Says the person who just popped out of a window. <laughs> Running away from trouble? Always. But, uh, could you please not alert them? <laughs> sure, you do you. I'll be here for a while. These archives are a mess. I can't find anything. Oh, are you from the investigation unit? <laughs> yep, Lauren Sinclair. Got my detective badge a few months ago. Kim Liddell, patrol unit. This is my first week. Though it might be my last. I just drowned Sergeant Hawk's paperwork and coffee. Again. Oh, so you're the newbie Will's always talking about. I've heard so much about you. Yes, yes. I am amazing. I make a normal entrance, assume I'm dying. Hmm. Lauren, this again? It's been ten years. That watch has been stopped equally as long. True, but it's different. You've turned it into an obsession. Kim, I think I've found a lead. There are still so many threads to untangle, but I'm on to them. Finally. It's... There's something I haven't told you. I know. What is it? The day I hit my head, it wasn't just typical trouble on my way to the station. There was... Someone. Who? Tim Sake. He's back in town. What? Where did you see him? On Amity Street. I guess you could say we bumped into each other. Really? Why do I have this weird feeling that you ended up chasing him down? Uh, well, look, I know I shouldn't have, but he basically admitted his involvement in Allendale. Lauren, I, I believe you, but he still has a restraining order against you. And for good reason. You've got to stay away from that guy. I know, I know. It was wrong of me to follow him. But could I really just ignore him? After all he's done, Chow isn't even his only victim. He's been in the business for the past decade. I can't ignore it. The APD shouldn't ignore it. Even though it's pointless to try to prove it with so little evidence. Whatever he said, it's still his word against yours in front of a judge. Justice is not going to be in your favor. What are you going to do? I don't really know yet. Nothing for the time being, but I haven't given up trying to free Chow's ex-wife. Lauren. Could you please keep this between us? Bruh. Cross my heart and hope to die. You're giving me anxiety, but I'll comply. <laughs> That's not all. Sake also mentioned he knew my parents' driver, Abel Sandman. They were both part of the Phantom Scythe. Sandman was his getaway driver the day of the explosion. Everyone believed Sandman died in the car accident with my parents. But Sake was saying otherwise. What? How's that possible? I dug up his autopsy report. The car's engine exploded as it fell down the ravine, so his body was too damaged for a proper identification. His missing finger was what confirmed it back then, but... But you think it wasn't really him, which would mean your parents' death was not an accident. And as if that wasn't enough, Sake insinuated children were kidnapped right before the Allendale explosion. Oh, Lauren, this is terrible. It's... <sighs> Lauren, I know what you're thinking, and the odds that Dylan was among them are- I know, Kim. I know. You remember what happened when you got your hopes up too high last time? Lauren, please don't ruin your life over this again. I don't want to worry you, Kim. Too late. But now that I know all of this, I can't just let it go. It wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be fair to my parents or any victim of Allendale. I can't let two known killers run free after a decade of escaping justice, and- even if I can't prove anything, I need to at least know what really happened to my parents and to Dylan. I need to know, so I can finally make peace with it. Somehow. I get it, Lauren. 
Which is why, as your friend, it's my duty to make sure that you don't destroy your life over a decade-old tragedy. <sighs> I wish you'd actually been losing sleep over this cute newbie rather than this. <laughs> He's not that cute, alright? Cute enough to date, apparently. I'm still not over the fact that you neglected to tell me you'd met such a hottie. Ugh, traitor. He is not! He's a sarcastic, egotistical jerk. Ah, you really love him, don't ya? I. Do. Not! Eh, whatever. I don't care. Come on, let's go. I'm taking you out. Huh? Are we going to call Will? Nah, he's working today. Uh, wait, Kim, where are you going? The door's the other way. The window! Uh, well, yes, yes, uh, yes, 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 uh, yes! No, no, yes, wait, yes, Kim, yes. I don't think-